the preachers across America, such as John Hagee, have indoctrinated large numbers of, of the Christian people to believe that the, the Abrahamic covenant given in Genesis 12, 3 applies to the modern state of Israel. And therefore, Christians are obligated under divine law to support the modern state of Israel virtually no matter what. Unfortunately, that is not what Genesis 12, 3 is all about, and that's not what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches that the Abrahamic promise was fulfilled in Christ the Savior and in everyone who believes on Him. The New Testament is replete with, with uh, the statement, there's neither Jew nor Gentile. We're all one in Christ. Christ broke down the middle wall of partition that divided us, Jew and Gentile, and we are now one in Christ. And the, the promise given to Abraham has absolutely nothing to do with the modern state of Israel that was created by, not by God, the, the old uh, nation of Israel in the Old Testament was created by Jehovah God. The modern state of Israel was created by the United Nations on May 14, 1948, and nowhere does scripture indicate that the, the modern state of Israel is any kind of fulfillment of Bible prophecy relative to Israel. Uh, there are many Christians who believe that, that there will be a future nation of Israel uh, when Jesus comes again. The Christians universally believe in the second coming of Christ. And there are Christians who believe that at that point the Davidic covenant will be fulfilled in Christ and that, the, that Jesus will rule and reign uh, as the, the son of David uh, and all of that prophecy will be fulfilled. But that will not happen until Christ returns and he hasn't returned now. And it, so to say that the modern state of Israel somehow fulfills uh, the Abrahamic or Davidic covenant uh, it clearly is a misinterpretation of Scripture. It's caused all kinds of problems for us politically in, the, in, our, in our world today. When you look at the way Christians are promoting all kinds of perpetual war in the Middle East, all kinds of foreign policy that is antithetical to everything our founding fathers taught us in our, in our country's history, uh, the way that we've become entangled in the political affairs of foreign nations, the way that we have favored nations, the way of, we have tried to uh, have regime change in nations, set uh, a regime up, set a regime down, all at the behest and military force of the United States with the backing of many Christians who think that by doing all of this, shedding all this blood and having all this warfare going on, that somehow or another they're obeying God uh, and, and some kind of a, a covenant relationship with the modern state of Israel, which does not exist. The modern state of Israel, I repeat, has nothing to do with the Abrahamic covenant or the Davidic covenant. It is not a fulfillment of any Old Testament scripture. All of the scripture to Israel is either related to the Old Testament nation or the, the new nation that God will bring into being at the return of Christ when Jesus rules and reigns in this world. Until then, there is neither Jew nor Gentile. We're all one in Christ, spiritually speaking. So, so therefore, the, this, the John Hagee doctrine has perverted a biblical truth in humongous proportion. It's created damage not only to our country, but to the people of the Middle East and, and to the nation of Israel itself. This, this theology has not helped the nation of Israel at, at all. In fact, there are many of the rabbis and many of the, the Jewish people that are uh, very much opposed to uh, uh, the Zionists uh, like Benjamin Netanyahu and others who are controlling uh, Israel and, and they're not speaking for the Jewish people and John Hagee is not speaking for the Jewish people and when he, he's speaking for the Zionists and, and that's a big difference it's just like talking about the the Jewish the Jewish elite that control Hollywood with the average Jewish person there is no comparison they're not talking 
about the same people at all. So no, the, the, the scripture has no uh, prophetic relationship to the modern state of Israel. And we should follow the wisdom of our founding fathers that we would have free trade and friendly relations with all nations and we would have entangling alliances with none. And that should include the modern state of Israel.